Part two, because I cut myself out <laughs> on strategy. So if you have A, B, C, D, you know, it's less likely for you to fail or to be distressed or something because you have, like, a lot of these points, you know, worked out and ironed out. So that's kind of part two on why I love fret failure, because you learn and it makes you develop strategies and different you know, plans or roadmaps. If it goes this direction, what will I do? If it goes this direction, what will I do? What what is I have a plan for each direction. It's actually it's kinda of like it's better to be over detailed sometimes and things. But you don't want to be so over detailed to where it cripples you towards movement. Um also back to again everything is everything back in the nature. Nature knows that um conditions change, seasons change, things change. So and that you plan that. So you plan for that. You also plan, like I said, it was a big deal. Um, and in the previous uh, lecture, I did plan for wrist breaks because you don't go, you you'll go crazy. Like your mind, you get aha moments, just like me. Like I put it to date. Like when I said last time, I'm gonna do this. I put inspired thought. So this time, so I have to force myself to not be working into wrist. So inspired thought. Okay, I watched the movie. I did this and I did that, or I took a walk and then something like that, and then whoo in the shower, boom, 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 so, like, I'm a, I'm different than how I used to be, so when I get inspired thoughts, I'll be like, oh, let me put them together, let me write it down right now, like, I take my notebook, if I'm not, I might, you know, I used to take my entire book bag, but that's just too much work, but I'll take my pretty much notebook everywhere, I'll be, like, walking and see a sign or something to be, like, moon or something, and I'll see, so, oh, let me put that together, hmm, 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 and then I was talking about, um, Another person to look at, definitely if you're into business, tylopez.com, T-A-I-L-O-P-E-Z.com. Um, and I'm talking about foundation, and you know I study numerology too, so the number four means foundation. So my next business I'm building is going to have four dimensions. And Ty Lopez talks about that as well. You think about Snapchat and his success as a billion-dollar company. They did something called trend stacking. So that's where they put four trends on top of each other and look as a billion-dollar company. So that made it extremely successful. Privacy was a big deal. Selfies are a big deal camera and instrument uh, stuff and then we're kind of a narcissistic society so like people you know showing their life story and then just having a voice you know and social media yeah, all those are like trends so it's like boom 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 four trends stacked on each other and they're a billion dollar company and I see it all the time and I want you to see okay why is this case so one of the ones that are before Facebook, there was MySpace. MySpace was in the realm like of social media and like kind of like for everyone. But blah, blah, they they made it to like they could have been billion. Google bought them out. I would have took the three hundred million too. I mean four hundred or four hundred million, however. Like Google bought them out. Then Facebook did the same thing. They did exclusively exclusively for colleges in the beginning, and they did kind of like were the same thing. Your profiles and stuff like that. You couldn't update it. Then after Facebook, there was something that came out called Twitter. We all know it's true. So all Twitter was was like, oh, let's take these different dimensions of Facebook and just take one and just make that popular and just give them a limit. Let's oh statuses. But let's make ourselves different. 140 characters. That, so they're just a bunch of Facebook statuses. Then after Facebook statuses, there was like, okay. Instagram, I'm like, okay, Facebook has like pictures and stuff like that. Let me take these pictures from Facebook and make a company. So Instagram, woo, woo, snap my pictures, snap my woo, 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 woo. You know, so they're doing that. And then, then from there, you got the thing like with Vine and stuff like that. They did video, and they did that one kind of step. But then Instagram kind of like, well, once Facebook saw that trend and they saw Instagram, it's like, oh, let's add video to Instagram, blah, blah, blah. But what was dope, this is where Snapchat was intelligent. So instead of like separating those trends, they saw this was a new t paradigm. They brought them together. So they brought all four trends and they monopolized on something that Facebook was having a big problem with. So like when you talk about, like someone was talking about fine social problems. Facebook had a problem with privacy. I mean, like before you know, there's all this crap. They're turning on your phone, taking your messages, blah blah. Snapchat. I mean, it's still an illusion because they have this stuff saved there too. But I'm not even go there. But like, Snapchat mon monopolized on your 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 problem with okay privacy. Like, oh, we'll add all these trends, right? But we'll make it private. For one thing, you can pick and choose who said, and we'll delete it. And you're like, wow. That's pretty dope, but actually, it was pretty easy. Just kind of like how Netflix came up, uh, came about. People were annoyed at all the fees that Blockbuster was giving, and like Blockbuster left in the place. Oh, because oh, 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 that then like Blockbuster was the billion dollar company. Where's Blockbuster now? So like, honestly, if you have ideas that are laughable, they might be great ideas because 
and you're going to be on like the epiphany kind of, of a trend. But then, like I said, do a trend with kind of balance. You want to like, for example, people accept B Buddhism. Like I said, again, it's from Ty Lopez. So he's a great person to follow if you're going like I entrepreneur. People like are into, okay, that's that's Buddhist. That's cool. You know, so, oh, some people are nudists. Okay, that's different. That's where it's cool. But a nudist Buddhist might be, you know, a little too much for some people. So when you kind of go on these trends and stuff like that, if you're trying to build a business, make someone, make sure it's been kind of like saturated for a little bit, like at least been running 10 years years and try to add it with with things so like privacy health like organic vegans these are kind of like 10 years and they've matured and like i said and this is the same thing too like you know turn off your tv you see even people building businesses like it may look you looking at kim kardashian or some stupid ass shit but like in reality even her though like her i mean even with her sex tape like it matured and she didn't walk out the womb like she wasn't like sex tape billionaire you know what i'm saying like it helped her like it took her a while to progress to like where she is even though it was per se in a negative light so y'all have to think more long term and like i said i talked about 10 years for mastery and 10 years for business so look at a trend that has matured and go your growth with that like go for like a slow steady real growth a foundation if you want to be a true company like a lot of times with my companies before i realized what i did they, there was no foundation there i um threw spaghetti against the wall and then if i want to if i really want to um you know retire my mom and grandmother and all that stuff and my uncle and just be happy and be at peace and not work for anyone else again i have to build solid foundations and like i said it, it might take about 10 years or maybe not you know who knows like i've been because like i said i've been working at entrepreneurship for a very long time so i could have looked at looked at all my experiences in master level but either way i'm just free form doing it because at the end of the day it could be it could be 10 years for me working for me and then be a billionaire and really retire. Or I could be working for somebody else for the next 50 years. So 10 years is not really that long time at all. You know, not at all. Since so I'm 30 now to be 40 and be a billionaire. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> So yeah, that's um, that's kind of where I was going with stuff like that uh, for like business today. So these are two. Um, love failure because you'll learn. Like I'm studying so much stuff now. Alchemy. I study trees. Uh, I'm like so when alchemy is broken down to so many things. When you're doing alchemy, you study the ele elements like copper, like the like things like so. But the basis of alchemy, oh, alchemy which came from Egypt again the origins but then e even Akemet was the fall that wasn't even the origins but like I can really go y'all y'all know all the stuff if y'all enlightened y'all know where to go to search there's so much stuff but like I said we're talking about evolution this is people's problem yes like okay y'all keep going to Kemet and stuff like that but yeah that then that was the floor from the floor that means involved I haven't seen you built nothing tighter than the pyramid yet so why don't you worry about what you should be doing and involving so Anyway, <laughs> before there was chemistry, there was alchemy, and they had to study the different elements in alchemy in its base form. The thing, like if you watch Full Metal Alchemist or any cartoon, you know, you don't even have to watch, like, study on it. If you watch cartoon, what the dopest thing in alchemy, the trip is to take a uh, some type of metal or anything and transform it to gold so but the purest form alchemy is talking about transmutation of a soul so that means where your soul is after a while you go through the trials and tests like earth <laughs> like we're here because everything is everything you go through the trials and tests of your, your your fires and your your soul should transition and transmute that's what they mean by transmute transcend trans when you talk about words origin that goes beyond or across transmute this mundane or this dimension and go to a higher realm but to transmute you have to be pure so that's why they have gold like it's the purest form or one of the purest like elements so that's why they use that so that's using it in two dimensions there's actually four dimensions of it at least like i tell you like what's dope about alchemy there's like the certain message then the hidden message. Then there's another message in another layer. Same thing like with the Matrix. There was like different levels. Once he got to the third Matrix, like there was a zone where he couldn't even fly. Like he thought he got through all the, but there's still another pattern. He had to get the key to before he could even go to that next pattern. There he was kind of trapped. And that's kind of how we feel like on Earth. Like he was trapped at one point where he couldn't just fly around and he thought he knew everything yet. So that's what's beautiful about alchemy like i said i'll talk about the bible and the metaphys metaphysical uh properties in the bible yes there's like again there's four dimensions on the bible even as well so like i said adam and eve you have you do have the logical 
characters and the creation theory and stuff like that. But then you also have, like I said, Eve is short for evolution. Adam is short for atom. That's on the metaphysical level. But then again, you have the you do have the physical level because you have a certain type of mankind that was created, you know, from clay and dust and stuff. And then there's another, there was a higher being, that breath, that breathed the breath of life in them. So they have that form in that garden, you know, there was that form. So, <laughs> yeah, there is, it's hella dope, man, when you really study stuff. So, yeah, that was my rants. I don't know how I'm going to put these two videos together. And if y'all going to listen to both, but I'm going to have to, but like, again, Love failure because you learn so much about yourself. Don't stress it. Like, again, like I said, there's all these, you know, these indoctrination that they that they trained us as well. Like I said, they, they trained us in school like Pavlov's dog. And so you're so afraid, me, even myself, you're so afraid of being whipped or whatever. Like I said, if you make a so-called mistake. But there is no mistakes. There's only learning. Like I said, when you when you fail a test, fail, boom, you know what I'm saying? There's like a lot of psychology in that. But when actually failing, like I said, is superb because you're sent in all these different directions and you're learning things you never learned before and you're bringing out different sides of you that you never had before, like resilience and, and, and things of that nature. So, yeah, go out there and fail. If someone doesn't fail a lot, that means they don't really try new shit. Like, think about it. Someone is always on dope, blah, blah, blah. They're, like, you know, they're, I mean, they're not on dope. Well, <laughs> but someone's always doing dope shit and shit like that, and they're never having problems. That means they're not trying anything. Even musically. Like, y'all laugh at Kanye and stuff like that. I mean, like, the VMAs, he was talking crazy. I'm not going to lie, but y'all laugh at him for trying new music, or you laugh at T-Pain uh, for auto-tune. I can't even find a fucking song that's not auto-tune right now. Yeah, so that means he's a pioneer in that. He tried something new, but everybody was like, Ooh. So, like, yeah, don't be afraid to be laughed at and stuff like that. But, again, once you're on that evolution, everybody's like, on your shit. You'd be like, what? <laughs> so, go with your first mind. Uh, evolve. Try new things. And understanding when you try something like... Go back to when you were a child. Get all these people out your head. Like, ain't nobody laughing at a baby when they take a step and like, boom, boom. That's we need to be more empathetic towards adults. That's why everybody's so mad and rude. There's no love. Like, when you're a baby and you're trying new stuff, you're trying to walk. You know what I'm saying? Walking, you ain't thinking about it now. But you're trying to walk when you're a baby. Ain't nobody like, oh, baby, hi, you fell. Woo, woo. But when you're trying to do something new as an adult, oh, no, you shouldn't do that. Blah, 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 blah. Dude, it's the same shit. <laughs> it's something new. You're going to fail at it. It's new. So, like I said, I am definitely a person that speaks like inspiration and life because everything around me is death. I mean, not me. I'm in a very positive space, like an energy type environment. But like, you know, there you're being bombarded with death. You know what I'm saying? Watch they live. You know, that that's a really good movie. And then you'll see like... I don't know if that's like 1980 or 1970 movie. And it's on Netflix. So I'm putting all these plugs in. But watch that. That's your reality. You're being bombarded with bullshit. And then they're like, oh, that person sees. Like, advertising. Buy this, buy this. Consume, consume, consume. You're not producing shit. If you consume everything, there's nothing left. If you're not producing anything. Does that make sense? And even like cooking stuff from scratch, you you don't want to even eat as much. Have you put it out work? Like, I'm thinking about, like, mustard. You know what I'm saying? There's, like, a lemon, like, lemon seeds and stuff going to make that. I looked at all the, like, the ways that you make that and stuff, and then you, when I'm doing, like, more stuff from scratch, it's so much more work. I'm not even as hungry anymore. I'm kind of tired. Like, half the times I'm cooking, you know, like I said, I'm trying to, you know, master this vegan thing, but a lot of times I do the raw vegan stuff, too, because I'm not trying to, like, do all that cooking, I don't feel like that, I'll get an apple and, and eat that, or something that's already prepared and stuff, because I'm, like, exhausted, so, when you break down how everything works, like, you don't consume as much, like, the same thing we learn um, at the Zuchi Buddhist temple, if you knew how much went into, like, a grain of rice, even, like I said, but everything's so mass-produced and abundant, you forgot how it was, but, like I said, we're fucking up the planet now, so everything is going to start to be scarce, so I would slow down and see how to truly create those things for yourself because you might wake up and McDonald's is not right there for you to eat or your grocery store. So even me, like I said, I'm still learning. I don't really have any plants grown and stuff like that, but I know that my grandma did know how to plant and stuff like that. And I know certain things that she did do, so I'm trying to 
go back and there's YouTube that's still free still we're not in China you know what I'm saying <laughs> or Japan you can look at YouTube there's nothing pretty much that you can't look up on YouTube and figure out how to do so there's really no excuse there's a wealth of information here like I said there's information age that's about done too so we're in no not about done that's done we're in the action age now so like all the knowledge is here that means to you have to put that knowledge to use it like wisdom acquire it and, and, and evolve and go further beyond. Peace and love. Namaste.